or let me back. They'll set up their screen right. west. They don't see anything to their west, then they will push west and move up to around where the IED mark is there. The three IED marks put on the map indicate possible enemy location. Likely enemy uh, strong point areas. So be on the look for that. Once again, the Cornet's dangerous, dangerous weapon. So don't don't get yourself too bunched up. Uh, keep your eyes open. And I hope everyone has fun. So good luck. Let's get ready. Just to clarify, I'm heading to J44, and then if you don't see anything direct west, we push west across the river. Yes, I'll be with you too. Uh, Channing Man. We're live, boys. All right, we got the tail end of his plan. Hopefully, we can see what it is. Honestly, I missed a lot of it. We missed so much of it. It's probably, just looking at marks, is going to be a northern push across the bridge, pushing south at an east to west platoon line. We're live, so just guesstimating, and these guys are live. Yeah, it looks like the Russians are going to be heading south across the river. Possibly flanking from their west southwest area. I believe they're. Yeah, looks looks like they're. If they're gonna go southwest, gonna try and get eyes on this peninsula over here. The British are gonna be moving, getting set up for a little bit. They we've got time to check out. Check out the Russians. Looks like they're sitting still, honestly. Now, are they live? They are live. They called live at 7.33. Ah. Uh, interesting. Do people tend to stick to the same squad, or is it random? It must be good if you know each other's gameplay. Um, you, you, were in the, you were in the team you joined, and you joined the first empty squad. So it's all random all the time. The only thing, the people that are decided beforehand is our commands and our squad leads. They are picked, uh, they're, they're separated into two teams. And they will be on the teams, well, like the, the regular public player when they come in, whatever round they come in, or wherever they go is where they go. If you end up with somebody you played before, awesome. Like, that's a lot of fun, but for the most part, it's fill, in, fill it in. Now, I'm hearing some communication between Fu, CG Fu, and Londar. It said, uh, we are not live. Huh. It says live in the, uh, the chat. However, there is no live broadcast. There is no live broadcast. Hopefully, Van Adams get this broadcast out soon because the British are moving. We've got Blue 1, Blue 2 moving southwest, Blue 3 moving northwest, with uh, Dwarf splitting the difference between the squad. Oh, it's Blue 1, 2, and 4 moving southwest. Now, eyes on. No eyes on moving. Oh, Cyclone caught it. Got it. Cyclone, Cyclone just let them know that they are live. They are live. So not too much of a yeah, head start a for them, and being the defenders, it's not gonna matter too too yeah. much. But still, I want you east of squad three. I'm gonna keep the map open for a little bit. Looks like blue two is repositioning to the north with blue three, while blue one and blue four continue southwest. Rules of engagement. Try and get eyes on him first. I, I don't want you engaging unless you have to before uh, Sir 2 gets up there. following uh blue four blue one as they move southwest they m i'm actually not sure who's going to come into contact first this arp this hornet up in the north with man by who's who's that red red one they may be the ones to come into contact who is this clay j and it's uh, clay squad. squad yeah shook heart yeah, shook heart uh man in that corner are they going to be the first ones to come into contact here it's a very tight formation from Londarts, which is actually pretty rare in my opinion. Londarts likes his spread out flanking formations. While well, he's got three squads, four squads almost within 300 meters of each other. With that. 
Yeah, they're looking right at each other. Who knows, maybe military intelligence got it wrong. I feel like it's it's super oversaturated here for the Russians. There's just it too is. many guys on these rocks on in these sandbag bunkers. Spread them out. We're missing guys. We're missing a squad or something, aren't we? I'm. Am I not yeah, seeing them? Yeah. So on the map? three squads are coming from uh, Russian main. Oh, now, I, I don't get know. it. I believe I that it. was part of the op. Yes, yes. That was part of the op. We probably just missed it. They are yeah, reinforcing, and they, essentially what, what happened is they, they, they're starting the morning, they're reinforcing this, this position with infantry, and then they're going to start their morning patrols. They're, they think all is quiet on the Western Front, essentially, um, while the British are right across the river. All right, three, if uh, you see nothing... You're gonna push us across the bridge, and two will take up your current position. Can't wait to get home from work tomorrow. I can play some squad and watch Game of Thrones. Awesome, Brent. I can't wait. actually. I cannot wait for the for tomorrow for for that reason. Um, clearly the UK are aggressors. Make a move from Russians. Have to respond to it. Yeah, Russian. Uh, British are the aggressors in this situation. Blue one going to Gonka. Doing the Gonka. Blue one, blue four, gonna move up from the southwest. Blue three, blue two from the north. Looking for a two pronged attack. I don't know if blue one's gonna be able to pull pull out of that peninsula though. I think if um, blue one can cross, like now, or, or sooner than later. Um, yeah, like I going mean, direct from, west from their south. position. Yeah, 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 yeah. They go west from this position. They they will be able to push across, but I I get the feeling blue one's gonna get them all the way to the tip of the landmass and then try and cross there. He needs to yeah, move this way. Yeah, he needs to move west now, get across the river while it's safe. They are getting engaged. Blue one is Phoenix and blue four is Silent. Yep. Looks like blue three is getting engaged. No, not blue. That dwarf is getting engaged. Oh, dwarf may go down here. He's in such a poor position. Oh, this this is not good for him. He can't get caught in a crossfire. Alright, he knows he's pinned. He's not going to move. What's up, Rugs? Welcome, everybody, to a Squad Ops Saturday One Life event. Operation Silent Serpents. A Jinx-style op. A lot of fun. These guys go in, they go in with maybe 30 minutes of planning tops, and uh, they have no idea what the, the, the other team has as far as mission objective goes. They know what their assets are, but they don't know what their mission is. Dwarf is 100% pinned, and now blue one is being shot at from the same position. Guys on the rocks, that is blue, or excuse me, red two, led by Fu. It looks like Thor went down on our blue team. The Russians have actually lost three. Alpha Guido, Loopy Booger, and someone else. Oh, I see. It's it's uh it's Blue One actually getting these frags, I believe. Let me double check that just to be sure. Oh, no, that's not Blue One. Who's actually, let me. Uh, Alpha Guido is not down. No, no, those are guys who respawn. respawn. Yeah, those are just respawn. Yeah. All good. Long range engagement so far. Blue One is caught out in the open. Only thing in between them and contact is. A stone wall, and this is what I, I pictured happening: blue team, attacker team, being caught out in the open. Their chances of moving out from this is very slim. Let's see if they can make it. They're gonna have to use a lot of their smokes if they want to get out of this position. Then these engagement ranges are so far though; they may be able to just be able to break contact and move south. What do you think? This is a what, 600 meter engagement. At yeah, least, I mean, at least 400. The fact that uh, red for, uh, the red team, Russian team, isn't putting down contact south of Phoenix could mean that they might cross uh, pretty soon. I would cross if I were Phoenix. I would too, yeah. Getting cross west right here would be key to them because then it gives them uh, access to a, a little farmhouse just south of the objective and they can even swing as far as industrial if they really needed to. Seems their yeah, they... Phoenix's team is, or squad is pretty content. Just laying down fire here right now. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, we're gonna try to move up. 
Hey, Dorf, I'm trying to move up the way. Getting my guys across the way. So it looks like red I mean, you three is moving southwest. Probably going to be heading to the uh, industrial area. I agree. Keep her low. We tried three moving along that road southwest. Correct. Blue one is actually pushing up this stone wall. They're pushing the Russians across the river. Oh. I, I, I don't know. We'll see if the call pays off. They may, uh, Dwarf may start to use these guys as a base of fire. And realistically, this wouldn't be a bad place to set up a base of fire. It would not. It looks like a Evans squad with a uh, Hawk as their FTL. We have found and engaged enemy squad size element in a battle position. Yeah. However, though, where uh, where Evan is taking his guys, though the the skyline. Uh, they they may just get headshotted, to be honest. Right where Hawk is. right now. I yeah, see, yeah, Hawk and Green. Hawk, they have no green, real base of fire. Yeah, they, I think they're going to need to push through this. This is now the assaulting element, I'd say. They need to push through this. Actually, not even push over it. Just go around it, I think. Hug the road. Use that definitely to your advantage and get close while Blue 1 lays down fire. We'll see what happens, though. Hawk is, it looks like he's getting his fire team up here to be that base of fire. Is it too early to fire at this point? Not really going to hit, are they? Suppression won't work for the Russians, and the UK give up their position. That's that's the argument right there, Scruffy. Do they fire now or later? I think it, it's better for the Russians to fire now, because then it, it's not so much suppression as as much as like area denial. Saying, hey, you can't cross here, whereas British aren't going to be as better served from from setting up the base of fire because they have nothing to. Well, if they're suppressing, there's nothing, nobody moving right now, in my opinion. Total, do you have a do you have an opinion on it? No, yeah, I totally agree with you. Sure. Yeah. We'll see what happens though. Hawk is continuing to push past this hill. Maybe they, they he is gonna continue on with this assault path. Three got fully across, casualties at zero so far. I have, I have contact yeah. Looks like uh red three is moving to Phoenix and Silas is west. He may uh surprise them a little bit. Indication nasty on the flank. That's more than red three too, that's red three and looks like a buddy team from uh oh, red yeah. four. Yeah, if Revy, it looks like Revy and two of his guys, if they can get some uh, AR fire down. And this is exactly what I pictured out of Lawn Darts. Very wide defenses. Now it's looking on the map. Red 2 is across, like, hugging the map edge north. Blue 3 moving right into him. Yep. Red 3 on the far... Yeah, this is exactly what I pictured out of Lawn Darts. Very wide defense, very flanky defense, allowing them to commit before pushing them and hitting them on the side. Now it looks like Revy and Exta is taking them out. I'm missing it too, heading over to Revy. Revy, uh, Revy just gasped pretty loudly when he saw all... Nobody's firing. Well, actually, they, they are shooting Lama at him, being... yeah. Yeah, Lama and Bean and Kuba. Turtle guy, meat, kinder here. Laying down fire onto Revy's position. What do you think? Did he fire too early? Maybe could have gotten some more guys online before opening fire. Or are they spotted? Yeah, I think uh, Exa could have maybe waited. A little longer because now he's exposed uh, his squad's position that full squad and to be fair that is drawing blue four and blue one's attention to the west so one squad holding up one or two that may pay off for them is uh, up in the north we got blue three and blue two about to come into contact while blue two cross or blue, two, blue three red two while blue two crosses yeah it looks like uh, red one is heading south However, blue, blue five, and blue two, and blue three are moving north, east, or uh, excuse me, north. Lower on top. Clay may have to come back and uh, help engage. Looks like Vindication is going to pull his squad off. Going to continue his flank. They tried to cross in too early. Not going to work. Man, we are secured. We're south. A lot of open ground. We should not get snuck up on. Seen where Lawn is, miles away from contact? I believe it. Lawn Darts is probably, I want to, not even seen him on the map, probably in industrial. Where's he at? Yeah, he was on the hill. Um, yep, there he is. Industrial. <laughs> near industrial. Yeah. That is, now, that's Lawn Darts in a nutshell right there. I love uh, Blue 3's formation right now. They are getting a little clumped together, as I just said that, but previously they were pretty, uh, pretty spread out in a straight line. 
Looking at took out two guys, I believe. Nice, yeah. Uh, they, they looks like they clumped up a little bit, but the, the idea of their formation, classic line formation, moving yeah. west. Thanks to like, Todd uh, and SOTT folks, take it. Looks like Razor and Nova on red team might uh, ambush them on the north side here. They're firing e Fink, your chest, and uh, Seether's laying fire onto that hill. Actually, a really nice spot. Razor. It is. Like it. Pretty slow round, honestly, for a jinx round or for a jinx stop. Usually, action. I mean, action happened pretty soon. I mean, the movement is slow, I should say. Yeah. There's been firing for several minutes now, almost constant. But in that time, they've moved maybe 300 meters. The red team, I would say, is doing their job. Still, no casualties on either side. Just a lot of ammo expended as Seethers and his fire team push up, pushing Razier out of this hill. Really solid push. Good base of fire from Evan's fire team, or Evan and his his guys remaining while he pushes a squad. The, the fire team up. This is bounding right there. Yeah, it looks like uh, Ethan and his boys are moving up pretty well. Yeah, really yeah, good they push make there. It the, uh, they make it stalker loopy. Oh, they are, yeah. Look here on the left of them as they push up. They're coming up into a perfect little flank. Now, sounds like they're going to lead with... They think there's somebody on the other side of this hill. They're going to lead with frags. Better safe than sorry. Use it before you lose it. And uh, they're going to push across. No problems. But that may give away their position to Loopy and Stalker. Three's going to be able to continue bounding up, I think. They have, they have solid control. Oh, Ethan goes down. Ooh. Oh, by Nova. I said they had control. Caster's Curse as Nova takes out E Fink. Seethers and Seared Chess, two remaining on the hill. What's the call here? Reinforce or fall back? Reinforce this or fall back? Uh, I would say fall back. If anything, um, I think Evan should have been pushing up his guys while they, while they flanked. Yeah, just stop this bound and then bound up the rest of your squad. Yeah. Take that hill was really nice. I agree, Scruffy. That was a very nice push onto the hill. Unfortunately, it looks like they overextended. Um, Razor and uh, Nova managed to get in a position to fire onto the hill they had just vacated, and they paid for it. Scruffy, secure the hill and move up the other fire team? Yeah. I think. See, there's in chess. I don't think the call is fall back, personally. Total War, with his tactical SOTT knowledge, um, <laughs> says to fall back. Or, and then bound up, but I, I think the call is get these guys to hold. Maybe, yeah. Not fall back entirely. This is probably good. They don't need to fall back further than that. Maintain yeah, control agree. of the hill and then bound the rest of your guys up. Their main concern is, though, is this field to their east. Or, excuse me, to their west. It, it they, really... only, they may only be... Sorry what? about that. Sorry oh, to ahead. interrupt. Well, I was just going to point out that there may only be two people. But the red team, Russian team, has no idea how many... Yeah, so that's a great point. They may think there's a full squad gonna, up there. Yeah, exactly. Which there, there is, but they don't know that. So looks like this action will be halted for a minute as Evans Fire Team has been diverted to fire onto what is this Red One and uh, the remainder of Red Four on those two fire positions. Let's go check out the rest of the blue team as they move along. The river in the peninsula squad uh, blue one and blue four still hold up in the peninsula their moment to cross has passed i'd say and now they're going to be forced to assault across the river it's like red three is flanking red three is still on their flank yep i wonder if phoenix has uh seen that yet they're really actually pretty skyline. There's three people skyline they are. right now. They're firing. They're shooting. Oh, man. Oh, he hits uh, Blackbeard. Yeah, Blackbeard gets hit. Down now. Vindication guiding in Hero and Salt Crits on this hill. 
I don't know. That felt a little premature to me. You you were unknown here. They, there was nobody looking at your position. I think pushing a little bit further now that fire being returned on this Russian squad. I mean, they're shooting at the uh, Dark Milkshake is shooting south, which is not where they are. Oh yeah, I'm watching those traces so, coming. Some are pretty accurate. Some, yeah, some, some Blackbeard are, yeah, Blackbeard, yeah, Blackbeard, yeah. Blackbeard knows where they are. He'll relay that information. A lot of little movements and stopping all that. Yeah, very slow movements. This op, this round has been live for almost 20 minutes now, and we've gone less than 900 meters, less than a kilometer. Update on kills. We've got one kill for the British, two for the Russians, as uh, it's still anybody's game at this point. Oh, so it looks like Blue 4 is moving to support 1. Law might be able to take advantage of this. Yeah, Vindication Squad has done an amazing job at uh, Evan, go ahead and get yourself holding up two full squads on their own. Um, That's nine people holding up 18. Math works out in the red team's favor, Russian team's favor, as it puts a lot of pressure on uh, blue two and three to continue their push on the west against three squads, essentially. Yeah. Blue 1 and 4 got a nice tent there. You're not wrong, Mr. Easy. You are not wrong. They've been they've been on this peninsula for for 15 of the 20 minutes of this op. The observers are perfect natural obstacles. OP's forward of the defense could completely fix burst on the east side. Yeah, I think the, 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 the two OPs that held this peninsula for Blue 1 and 4 were, yeah, they were instrumental in, in not allowing them to cross there. Blue 2 and 3, I think, got lucky in their crossing, or what more Archer's idea on that north side was to allow them to push in and then uh, and then pressure them with their backs to the river. Saw Red 3, they are. Oh, like, did I see Red 3, or did does he have a saw? Uh, not sure what using meant by that. A lot of action this op, or um, there's actually been a lot of shooting. There's been almost constant fire for for the 20 minutes of this op. Unfortunately, deaths are at one to two, so a lot of long range. The engagement range seems to be about 600, six five to 600 meters. Um, this operation so far. Squad two, your guys coming up on my rear. Tell them to watch out. Get low. Jack's got the AR. He doesn't know how to not use an AR. There's always an automatic rifleman. Knows how to use it. That's a. That's not a. That's not a saw. Oh, did I see? Yeah. No, I see three trying to make their move. They're trying to keep pushing. Drawing two squads over to them. Drawing blue one and blue four. Blue three is getting some value out of this flank. I don't think it's going to be a successful flank, but the time they kill, I think, is going to be just as crucial as. Them getting, you know, We're going at least one to one. That way we can get this is going to be interesting because um, looks like Bartok and his team may be staying at those houses. However, looks like Blue Four may be getting the jump on them if they get over the hill. At um, J684, they can just shoot down right at them. Yeah. So, Blue Team might have the advantage here, possibly. Yeah, yeah, blue three and blue two continuing to have trouble on this north side. I don't know how much more movement they're gonna make. I actually don't think they've made any movement. They pulled out. They're pulling out of the north. They're gonna support south. Okay. So the main push is gonna come from this peninsula. Let's check out Phoenix's squad as they cut off. Red so blue three, blue two, gonna fall back, reinforce blue one and blue four. Hmm. We obviously have perfect tactical awareness. We, we can see everything on the map. We know how close blue two and three were to that objective. Whereas blue one and four, not so much. They're working off the information they got and they feel like they are being pressured from the south so much they need to pull their entire platoon back to deal with the squad three essentially. That, that's right, right? Yeah. Blue 3 is pulling an entire platoon towards them. Looks like Hero may eventually have a... Ooh, I don't know. 
He may have a a good look at them. He has a uh, AR. Hero is very famous for his AR skills. Definitely a madman with that AR. So we're gonna set up a screen in the woods around Juliet Six. Roger. For we're. Is it time for a rethink? Sounds like it. That's what Dwarf's doing. He's, he's doing, having a little rethink. North is all low ground and it's easily engaged from these hilltops. Where I'm at right now is heavily suppressed. Riders, so I'll come in. We'll come into your east. Now it looks like red team, Russian team, sees blue four and is shooting at them. One, how's your position? It's a great spot. Looks like by uh, Mr. Wilbur on blue team, or excuse me, red team. Bird's eye view and all the UK should have taken the hill, pushed on in the north, focusing the Russians to defend. Now the Russians are dictating the pace. I agree. That that push on the north here with blue three, I think, was their best chance. After not crossing when blue one and four had that opportunity. But again, we all, we have perfect tactical uh, awareness. We know what's going on here. There it looks like Turpin Hombre. So to interrupt, but Bartok and his team may get flanked from behind them. Yeah. Blue four is coming up right behind uh, red three. Who's that? To get interesting. A weird RPG shot. So King and Midas and Turtle Guy may get the flank on Blue th or Red Three here, followed by the this entirety is... of Blue Four. This is good. What the fuck are you doing? This is where rear security and 360 security, which by the way we teach and saw, comes in handy. Look what on the map. Doing? It doesn't look like they're getting uh, rear security. Hotel 497. Hotel oh, Bartok may be looking right at Tempe, yeah, Turf and Hombre, commonly known as Turtle. Yeah, contacts close to your south, 200 meters. Did he say close? Copy. They are across the road. They see, yeah, Turtle just calls them yeah. out too. They they see Bartok, if Bartok sees Turtle, Turtle sees Bartok, oh, he and goes Turtle goes down. Wow. Oh, unfortunate for Turtle. Now, what is Jack doing? Jack 0800. What is he doing? He's out in the middle of a field. <laughs> it's his bold to say, this, and he's <laughs> he's turning around and running back. His SL is probably yelling at him. Yeah, that is almost definitely. And he turns back around. Oh, team kill. Shirkar kills Hero. Unfortunate team happened? kill. I want to know what happened over there. Shirkard is across sure. the river, I believe. We're gonna have some movement here in Squad One, Two or Blue One and Blue Two, yeah. trying to reinforce Blue Three, or excuse me, Blue Four. While Blue Three didn't even fall back, they're still on that that edge of the map. Interesting. Straight south where we are now. Rip turtle. We're not allowed to resplat the lock, Chris. Disengage or strange. It's just so long. Four contact direct west of you. So we have the Two kills for the British so far. Russians have four. Russians have that upper hand slightly. Is that low ammo? I, be I believe right, Russians yeah. are going to run out of ammo before the British get close, I feel. Russians have been firing constantly. Can they resupply? Is there anything that gives them resupply? Let me go through that dock. I believe so. Absolutely, yeah, look at the dock. Yeah. Ooh, Zeke goes down to fire as Blue Four finally gets into position. Command one is effectively pinned right now. Understood one. Ooh, while Jacko 800, GJ Key, and Bartok War aggressively push Blue Four. Nice play there. I'm not sure if it's gonna pay out, but I I, I respect the aggressiveness. Yeah, I mean if UJ Key or if Key. Can get the uh, get the hop on Kuba and his guys, then uh, 
Let me turn the tables a little bit. Poop is not one to slouch on his rear security, though, and if he's fire team leading, I believe he's going to be constantly calling for it. Hopefully he is. If not, Bar Type Warrior has his RPG out. May get a nasty frag around here. Bartok is one of the best with RPGs. I will say that. Fire out onto Silas. Misses. Oh, you, you cursed him on that one. Shot yeah. just a little bit low. <laughs> Silas says, "Silas says, oh shit." Goes goes prone, and his fire team's gonna turn. Or his squad's gonna turn tail and run. Oh, and they come up on. Dwarf is, has the back uh, shots on the ass of uh, UJK and Bartok Warrior. They see him. Oh no. Just to their northeast, Dwarf is firing onto oh, them. Bartok's gonna go down, I think. Oh, Prince oh, goes Prince. down instead. He got dome. That was Dwarf uh, shooting him. Oh. Good shots from Dwarf. Great flank by UJK, better flank by the rest of the British platoon. How long do normal rounds last? Um, our ideal round time is an hour 15 minutes, uh, Guy Hector. Sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're shorter. But about an hour to an hour 15 is an ideal round. Actually, it might have been shorter. Our, our ideal match would be about an hour. Neo Jack was doing, yeah. That guy was being the aggressor like that. Can you create an air burst by hitting a tree higher up with the RPGs? Yes? Yes, but not can. much higher up. The, the blast radius isn't gigantic, but if you hit it, you know, head height or something, you can get somebody behind a rock. Even a little higher than that. Uh, I don't know if it's the mod or if it's the game itself. Interesting. Can do that. No bad. So blue three update on everybody's position. Let's go from bottom to uh, north. Excuse me, south to north. Blue four looks like they're trying to get the flank on blue three. Blue two reinforcing blue four. Blue one holding position because they've been pinned down since forever. Blue or excuse me, red three on the south being flanked by red four. Red one watching east pinning down blue one while blue two and blue one. Are continuing to pin down blue three in the north. Three, so very, One, very tight two, defense by Lawn Arts, except for his flanking element of red three. Back, and everything is pretty even, as far as um, strategic uh, placements of the squads, um, movement, and uh, kills in general. Yeah, five kills for Not the much, British, uh, four for the Russians. Um, basically an even game. Yeah. Blue one doesn't want to give up their tent. I mean, you can't. I can't argue that point. Honestly, I think they've had some position. They they've had both opportunities to push and fall back. The windows, they they just aren't being spotted. Honestly, and it, and it's tough because of the 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 situation they're in. They're constantly being shot out. These buildings are just wood, so they they are pinned by almost any caliber rifle. And if they push north, open field. They push northwest, open field. They push west, rivers. They push south. Like their their directions are very limited, and they they don't want to clump up with the rest of platoon. What what would you do if you were a blue one here? Blue one. I would. Uh, I'm actually not looking at blue one. Hold on. Guys in the peninsula here, pin down for a majority of this round. I'd say. I would say probably hold that position. Hold the position. If you, if you move, yeah, because if you, uh, looks like they already got two squads going after uh, red three. I think if red or uh, if blue one can maybe push north and keep putting fire down uh, near the, where the red team's lodges are, maybe the northern element can finally start pushing west. That suppressing fire from uh, blue one may be very important. Some of chat is saying head southeast, some are saying head north. Both can be argued, maybe. So, so, so either the, the two two suggested in chat are move southeast to reinforce essentially, reinforce the, the main platoon, or push north to help lay down fire and relieve three. Yeah, I would push north. Relief three. Definitely. However, 
I think pushing north would be great. However, the way that they get there may be compromised by the ARs on the rocks to the west side of the. So it's a it's a little risky. Is taking the SOTT advance before doing any ops a good idea? Just trying to learn as much as I can before I go into an op. Um, the only thing required to participate in an op, uh, Sir Lionel, is basic training. I highly recommend all of our advanced courses um, that you can take. But if you want to just get into our ops as soon as possible, the only thing required is basic training. Um, for kits, a lot of times squad leads will ask, hey, who has advance? And they'll... they'll and to get priority on those advanced kits, but uh, yeah, not, not required. Hotel's got to be somewhere in that India two, maybe Hotel two. Yeah, I'm sure it's in there, given the size of the fortifications. Pin down for majority of the round for sure. Contact is likely, so they should use a traveling Overwatch formation to gain contact. Develop the situation and relay that information behind them to determine an appropriate action to take. So you're saying to continue to try and bound forward by fire teams laying down Four, you're gonna jump um, right. appropriate suppression and try and push up to the peninsula or yeah. you like pushing north or southwest delta. I think the call might be southwest. Try and cross this river. This is still a, a not a bad point to cross west for blue one. Copy. Easy risky for the biscuit. Stay flanky Frankie. Stay there and bleed the ARs dry. Another that's another option. If they have no ammo how can they suppress you? Very true. We need to get this. We need to speed this up. Copy that. We're telling these guys to keep moving. Blue, th red three is just falling back. They don't want any more of the fight. They've done their job. Kills are exactly even. It's easy. Too many angles to bound. I mean, you're not wrong. There's a lot of angles. But I feel like, especially in these open grounds, it's predictable angles. They're going to go for the rocks. They're going to go for clumps of trees. They're going to go for things that you... The way I like to think of suppression is shoot out. If, look at places you would shoot the per you. Like, you would shoot you from. And then fire there, because there might be somebody there. Like what are the best angles to kill you from, and then, and then suppress there? I feel like that's, that's pretty easy to remember. Or to, to visualize. Yeah, I agree with that. Now Londar just, uh, or excuse me, Clay J, on the Russian side, just called out for Red Three that they are being followed. So, so Londar knows Red Three is being followed. Yeah, by two squads. Accurate, accurate call as Blue Four and Blue Two are in pursuit with command. Well, they got 100% of the platoon fixed from the start. No ability to maneuver squads. You're right. I think they could have utilized bounding a little bit better at the start, and because there were full squads who got pinned down, rather than a fire team or a buddy team who got pinned down. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, good call, Delta. Can they head south and then swing around them, leave a squad to distract? I don't hate that idea. That's not a bad idea, but that would require one to peek out. I think. And then allow blue four and blue two to, to maneuver. One needs to peek out and lay down some fire. Red blue three has moved some, but not much enough. Not enough to go back down there because Cuba is in the lead of this platoon as they finally made their river crossing. British are across the river. That's a that's a major obstacle, honestly, and uh, it may change things. For sure, yeah. It's like uh, blue four is crossing. Yep, blue four However, red across. three is focused on blue two. Maybe blue four can get the flank on. Kuba is in the lead, and he is spotted. Gets shot up by Bartok Warrior. May go down here. He's, he'll be okay. And he's got a medic here. They're more northwest. The CG Fu just uh, called out two squads as well, moving south. Good call outs by a uh, red team. Russians have very good communication. I have I haven't been impressed with with uh, British communication, but I haven't been disappointed either. Like they they have constant enough suppression that or excuse me uh, communication that I, I feel like everybody's in the know, but I don't think they're right. being as accurate as they could be. Yeah, agreed. I mean, I wouldn't know. 
But it seems like they haven't. By their movements. The dwarf has a great position on the, on the hill overlooking three, red three. Oh, four is just completely suppressed now. They clumped up. Oh, Hamdog goes down. They they clumped up. They're, there's four of them in the same position. An RPG can take these guys all out. They're not moving. Oh, they all came to the medic. That's why. The machine gun hugs is machine gunning them out as he's healing everybody up and they're spreading out. Now, how many RPGs does the uh, RPG person get? Is it two? I, I believe it's two, but... Pony does tweak with the, the ammo sometimes, so it could be yeah. it could be one, it could be two. I think it's two. Though. So Bartok already shot his second shot and missed again. So if, if there's a fire team lead though, he can resupply a little bit. Okay, that is true. Good to go. Might not be a bad idea in these events to designate a fire team as recon element that moves far forward of the main body to help the platoon leader build situational awareness. That is definitely not that's not a bad idea, Delta, and that is something that would be determined by the platoon lead if he decides to use it like that um on at this point in squad i don't know if it's viable enough because having a recon element would i mean i guess a recon element of like a buddy team would be good but having like a sizable recon element forward just detracts so much from the actual platoon's power having to devote so many men but once we get to those 50 v 50 servers I'd 100% send out a five-man buddy team or five-man fire team to be recon ahead of ahead of the platoon. That seems way more viable. But uh, right now, with only what is it, 30, 35, 35, 35 or something like that. Yeah. There's just not enough men to go around. That's like the worst place, Miss Yuzi. Yeah, I agree. As uh, Silas goes down here, that's a, that's a squad lead down. Speaking of a squad lead down. Let's take a look at how the command structure is doing for the British. They still got the command dwarf. Kuba is a is a competent squad or a fire team lead, and uh, he should be okay, I think. Evan Esme is original squad lead, Dick Spoke original squad lead, and Phoenix original squad lead. For the Russians, Londarts original squad lead, Saloon original, Vindication original, Fu original. So command structure is actually pretty well intact, I'd say. Yeah, I would say so too. I think um, I think these squad leads tend to hang back a little. They're learning. Yes, that could be a big re reason as well. Yeah, they are learning. Yeah. They're learning. It's it. Some some squad leads still excel at being in the front, but I it, it works out more often than it should. I tell you. Um, when are they getting fifty v fifty? It's it was promised in the Kickstarters how long ago they announced it. I'm not sure exactly though. Hopefully it's something they're working on eventually. I don't know what their priorities are for these next patches. Maybe or something though. So Kuba is gonna get his guys moving. Two, you heard him. Wait, can you repeat? Hey, don't be on top of me, Mutus, just in case I uh, can take they're fire. I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna be hard. moving across uh, to oh, your yeah, south yeah, side there. Sounds good. Dick, I need you to suppress the target to your northwest. Or your north, on those rocks. Now it sounds like Lon is sending Saloon and his guys down south to support 3 and 1. As yeah, there's Red 3. Ball's back. I feel like they're drawing them into a trap. That's the idea for these guys. Alright, I see a whole squad running away. Yeah, I don't necessarily agree with uh, Lon's call, to be honest. Because they still have forces in the north, and Phoenix could potentially cross. Nah, I don't know. I was thinking that he could cross north now, but uh, I don't think that's viable anymore. I'm sure that. I'm gonna go check out some other squads. I've been following Blue Four for a minute. Let's go check out uh, all the other platoons. Give you an eye of what they're seeing. Looks like Blue. Uh, blue 2 is going to be the base of fire for blue 4 allowing them to push we'll see if they cross eventually getting pinned down currently six volt may go down here fuck it down they're north of us no he'll be okay blue 1 has actually moved up they've picked up they packed up their 10 and they've moved 100 meters northwest as phoenix gets shot at almost immediately as he uh peaks this uh hilltop Okay. They've been north of you, like, this whole time. 
Squad one, you got contact. Eight three six seven. We are just being smart. There are no opponents. One AR, I believe. Copy. Oh, I thought it was two squads crossing the south. There was only one. Yeah, only uh, blue four Mark, managed to cross. Blue two didn't even try. One given an assessment of his situation. Dwarf wants him to cross the river north and try and, or excuse me, northwest and try and push those hills. Phoenix says that's that's impossible. It's not going to happen. Reinforce blue uh, blue three to the northeast or go east to hook up with uh, two. Saying go hook up with uh, blue three. See what happens. The guys in the north, Evan and his squad is taking five. Stalker and. Someone else goes down on the red team. Update on kills. 8 for the British, 7 for the Russians. Still an even game. As the counter frags come in for the Russians, looks like. Oh, they seeded this hill back to Razor, Nova, and Fu. Unfortunate. Razor does go down. No, Nova goes down to uh, iMoney's. These dudes got to be low on ammo. I believe it, Delta. The, spe specifically the automatic riflemen. Those automatic riflemen have... Cr somebody correct me if I'm wrong. It's some like four bags of ammo or four cases yeah. of ammo. Yeah. They got to be so low. Now it's interesting that uh, blue three is falling back. From your east? No, what is moving is. Yeah, I see that blue three is trying to fall back. I'm not. They, they, it seems like if they weren't gonna yeah, hold the ground, why be here in the first place? Right yeah. Exactly. I, I don't know what they've been doing up here. I, I, I guess they are holding up an enemy uh, or holding up a squad, but they, it's not like they're getting the same value that Red Three was getting, holding up or pulling right. the full platoon over to his direction. Right. It's roughly the same amount of people on yeah. both sides. Looks like uh, Red Two is falling back as well. Look at this flank that Blue Four has going on on the northwest. Or excuse me, almost direct west of one. Oh no, they've come oh, into contact with three. They're right on top of each other. I need to get over I here to Cuba. Either. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Let's see how this goes. I would have gotten to the building to the west. Yeah. Uh, no, Koopa thinks they're in the buildings. MMGs, right, those are four boxes. Blue group and spearhead? That might be the call. Uh, it's still really even. British kills actually have the upper hand of two kills now, the first time for this round. Nine kills, not saying it's a big. Big upper hand. Uh, nine kills to seven. Regroup and spearhead. The thing is, the British need to be the ones to spearhead. They're the ones on offense. Where do they spearhead? They don't. They're really spread out at this point. About 300 yeah. meters between each squad. Where Where do they push? I think two reinforces four and push from there with one and three from the. East. Oh wow! They are. Uh... Oh. Blue four is going down. They're getting, getting sniped. destroyed here. Two go down in quick succession. Big Rago, I think, was the one who had the frags. Big Rago is the one who has the angle. Maybe nuclear uh, twister. Looks like vindication might be. Okay, we're to smoke. We got spot Frag rounds are, excuse me, uh, grenadier round. Grenadier smokes out on the lime beans, marking his position. They need to move. That Grenadier knows how to aim that now. He can switch to HE and start mowing him down as Kingen goes down. Four. Blue four is down to two. That took all of no time as uh, kills are now nine to ten favoring Russians. Just like that, too. 
in a matter of seconds. British keep falling back in mega. each engagement. They need to get two squads to move together and take ground with no suppression going. With some suppression going. It's a good assessment, I think. They they keep they they're very hesitant when they are the aggressors. Or with with them being the aggressors, they are very hesitant. You get you get you get you get you get. Hey, four is disengaging. We lost three. We're now two effective. Jeez. Four is down from five to two. That base of fire of blue two is going to be... Blue one's made some good movement. Actually. Blue one's across the river now. Wow. See, they may be across the river, but they had to go back east to do it. Yeah. Which, uh, doesn't really help when you need to push west. But I understand, they, need, they needed to get out. This has been a very wide op. Considering the AO is only about, what, four grid squares? No, exactly. Way more than that. It's about that. nine grid squares. Nine to nine to twelve grid squares. The engagement has been just so long, and the uh, platoons have been spread out over hundreds of meters. I believe it's been uh, an hour since this stream started. Probably like forty-five minutes since the off started. It's gonna be pretty long. Yeah. Streams in line about an hour, twelve minutes. Um, obviously we got the pre, pre music and all that. So probably yeah, about an hour we've been live. Um, op is definitely nearing that hour long mark as well. One hundred fifty. Don't. I mean, you're gonna have to pop, shoot, and then immediately get back down. Are you allowed to prone underwater in these ops? Um, Doctor Jed, you are not. Well, the the. There, there were, originally the, the rule was you couldn't prone underwater because it would made you invincible. For those of you who remember that bug, that's Dayton. The, like that was that's like V V nine V V eight kind of bugs. Um, they fixed that so you can be shot underwater. But I I don't remember if it, if there's a realism rule as in you know would be able to do that. Yeah, in, in life. yeah, they implemented that. So yeah, uh, so you cannot go prone underwater yeah. because of, the person can't can't breathe underwater. Phoenix gets his guys online, starts firing onto the hill. I really like this position for a base of fire. I'm just hoping he doesn't commit too many guys here. I think he needs guys for the assault, and he, he it shouldn't be a full squad Killing here. They're dialing in. Being, being, being a base of fire. Gotta reload anyway. Take cover. Got a bandage. Ooh, I'm good. I really like the British Very rifles. Much. What are, what are they called? Do you know? Boy, those shots are coming Contact right at this door. British oh, rifles are just. I, I, uh, they're, they're, they're satisfying. I have no idea. Mr. Uzi's here. He'll tell me. He knows. <laughs> hey, we just to it's just. It sounds. Guys. It's. It's yeah, a really satisfying gun. Out. It is. Yeah. Squad one will start pushing when you push. Sort of checking out each person's position. Blue three says they're gonna push when blue uh one pushes. L eight five mark two. Come on, go ahead. Nice, uh, nice. I, get a hold of you. I have not heard of three. Go ahead. AKA S A eighty. Interesting. I think it's just so it's a good gun, right and then the fact that each person has that little pistol grip. Uh, for those of you who don't know, every person on the, in the British uh, army has a bipod. They have a little pistol bipod here. You can see, it actually drops down. Pretty valuable when you get time to get set up. Whoever needs it, really. What have you got? Oh, re re supplies? This is an overall push across the line. I'm going. Overall push.
Now via command car. Sounds like Clay J is getting pushed. Yeah, Dorf is calling for an overall push. He is uh completed all of his flanks as far as he can tell. He's gotten guys across the river. Oh, I didn't even see Blue Two getting pushed here so hard. Yeah, I didn't either. They were pushing. Four in the looks middle. like they're gonna go down. Big swole. They run into uh, very aggressive key. here. Soviet charge. It's a British charge, but you I mean same, same concept, I guess. As the British are gonna just try and push through here, get caught in the crossfire from a uh, long range by Foo Squad on the northeast. Kills are oh, swinging man. in favor of the Russians. 13 kills for the British, 17 for the Russians. As Dwarf has wow. gone down. If you uh, if you look at Red Three. So Lima Kuba versus Key. Vindication came behind them and flanked them. Looks like he took out a majority of them. Who's remaining from the blue team over there? Yeah. Vindication came up and cleared out the the two guys from. Uh, not it's not Kuba's squad. He's, Kuba was in it. Silas's squad. Silas, yeah. yeah. A little flank. Vindication. Like, I don't have... I don't think you're going to be awful when you start commanding. I just don't have high hope. Not commanding, but squad leading. I just, personally, I have little faith in humanity. <laughs> but, like, I don't think you're going to be great at, at squad leading when you first start off. Vindication has been pretty rock solid from the beginning. His, it, he, it seems to be he's always on those flanks. And so it just allows him to move more and do more with his squad. But I always feel like he's really solid on the flank. Like, he's he doesn't get caught out often. If he does, he saves majority of his squad. He can pull back when necessary. Like, I'm, I'm always really pleased with, with Vindication's flanks. And it may not... It's probably not just him. It is definitely, like, part Londar's part, whoever he's he's under. But Vindication is, is very, very solid squad lead, in my opinion. Yeah, I would agree. Longshawn Silvers just being dialed in by this red team. He's not getting out of this. Out of this. I'm dead. I'm We're just dead. Gonna... I'm dead. I'm <laughs> he's dead. Just I'm dead. Chanting, I'm dead. he's dead. He I'm knows. Dead. He knows he's on stream. He knows he's the only one here. We're watching. He knows there's people watching. <laughs> and then it's sort of, and it's not something that he has to like cheat for. Like he doesn't have to have the screen up to know he's here. That people watch him. He has to know his squad's watching him. There oh, are people at... dead that are watching. Come on. He's just going for it. He's he's saying, "Come on, let's go." When you're falling, firing full auto like that. Oh, and he finally gets oh, domed. Yeah. yeah. Looking forward to launch plan. Yeah, when we switch team, we'll hear launch plan. We will be staying on the British team for both rounds. Majority of the push. So the south flank is now cleared up for for the Russians. Now it all comes down to Phoenix and Evan SMA's squad. Phoenix still sitting back, laying down a base of fire. There's just nobody to move under Maybe said base of fire. Maybe that'll draw up enough. Yeah, go for us to push west. I'm down to two and a half max. Copy. I found the gig. Phoenix says he is down to two and a half mags. That's a squad lead. So to give you to, just to guesstimate how much everybody else has, Phoenix has two and a half mags. He is a squad lead, which means he spends seventy-five to ninety percent of the game with his binoculars out. Now imagine somebody who has their gun out the entire time, who's the automatic rifleman or the the, the rifleman who's just hold to fire. These guys have to be all on red mags. Like it's it's crazy. I'm surprised they're still shooting. Reloading. He did the queen proud, right? Long, long song silver. He tried his best. Couldn't, couldn't take on uh, the Russian army. Me. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Rush, red seemed to be in the driving seat right, all in. round. We're gonna pick a new angle. Here. What do you think about that total? I mean, yeah, I mean, they're defending. They have the advantage in most every. I'm kind of surprised that the blue team has actually been able to push this much. 
Yeah. I think the, the uh, blue, the three red team, I think them pushing southeast was kind of in their favor because it uh, split up blue team's group pretty well, the uh, platoon. And now it seems like it's worked out for them because they've uh, completely destroyed them. Kills are definitely spreading out. 14 kills for the British, 6 kill, or excuse me, 20 kills for the Russians, 6 kill difference. Yeah, I think blue... Th Blue three, I, I I agree with you. Z. Red ha seems to have been in the driver's seat this entire round. They've really dictated how and where the British can move. And that push from Vindication on the southeast definitely keeps that. As Evan SMA squad is just starting to get torn apart. I just saw two deaths pop up. Yeah, Evan went down. As they are caught, full platoon or full squad caught out in this hilltop. Skyline. Yeah, not 100%. good. But these would go better if they added one yeah, medic revive per person that would encourage more ag aggression, perhaps. That is something that is actively discussed. I'll tell you that much, Flink. Flinky, Frankie. That is something that is act like we we've added it to post ops. Um, but it probably wouldn't be one medic revive per person. That's that's too much to keep in. To, to remember for everybody you know like have you been revived before you know can you talk and then there's the rules like can you talk after oh, death <laughs> things like that so hey, where they at? I got no a... word on it yet definitely not my call to make but uh that is definitely a suggestion that has been made frankie right, should have adjusted the plan sooner i yeah uh, i don't think Blue maneuvered as well as they they could have. There there were definitely two squads, blue one and blue four. I want to say who were in this peninsula for several minutes, uh, at least twenty to thirty. Blue three was caught up in the north for a long period of time. The only one I felt that made some really good movements was uh, was it blue four? It might have been blue. Whoever actually made it across the river was that that, that was blue four. Yeah. Uh yeah yeah they made it. Across the river in the south. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The Phoenix went across the river, but that was towards on the, the north. Side. I think Blue Four yeah, was the only one who made any like yeah. actively good. Like they made it as close as they could have, and I think they they, yeah. they had the best um, push so far. Yeah. It's still not out of control for the British. It's only a, a seven kill difference, fourteen kills to twenty one. About a squad, it can turn in a heartbeat, but it seems like the red are in control. Hey, who's in charge of squad three right now? Alpha Guido and Rage are working really well together on the red team here, I'm using local comms. Three, how's it going? I love good use of local comms. Local comms yep. to me tells me if you got local active local comms, that means your squad lead is actively using his squad comms, which means he's actively using probably actively using his command comms. With all our advantages as spectators, I feel the Russians took over the game the moment the British abandoned the hill in the north, not capitalizing on the momentum they had. That's that's the butterfly effect right there, Swede. They yeah. I it, me personally, I am in the same boat as you. Like we have that perfect, perfect information. That push in the north was their best option, in my opinion. And this is the hill that they're fighting over now. Not so good now. But that's because they didn't. It's not good for them now. The opportunity isn't just there. But I agree. This this northern push would have been where it's at. But Dwarf felt it was a southern push, and he could have made the southern push work because of how good Blue 4 managed to get across the southwest. They managed to make it work a little bit. I just felt he didn't get enough people across the river when he could have. Vladimir Putin goes down. Dark Milkshake has his uh, pistol out. Out Close of ammo. Range combat. Yeah. Yeah. He's out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> I I've been him at one point. He's on the front line here too. He's as oh, he might go down. That tree's not gonna protect him for long. He's pushing him. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> and goes down. <laughs> Valley and Everest. 
Update on kills 15 to 24. Gap is wider. Now up to 9. Now one thing I would uh, like to point out is the use of GL in this game. The red smoke uh, on the north side pointing out where blue... Uh, who is it? Blue 3 I believe? Blue 3 is for the red team. It's really great. It gives uh, more communication throughout the, the platoon. Uh, yeah, I 100% agree. People don't utilize that that's GL smoke as well as they could. It's much easier to say, hey, left of the red smoke, right of the red smoke, whatever, on the right. red smoke, than it is to say, hey, this degrees, you know, west, southwest, right. by the tree. Exactly. Looks like Phoenix and his squad is pushing up on the red team. We made some good progress here with uh, them distracting red one, but that's still, this engagement range is about 100 meters now. Still in favor of red team, I see, as Bob Saget goes down. I mean, what are they going to do? It's open ground. Yeah, exactly. Between them and the enemy. FTL and smoke vindication. Monster. Vindication is skeleton on the uh, south side. I thought Be they were going to be doing Phoenix something. Phoenix goes down. It's open ground. Oh, this is going to be rough for the blue team. They're starting to get, I don't get shot, get shot. Your name is Kirscht. <laughs> Yeah, as this gap is ever widening. 16 kills to 27 for the Russians. Over 10 kills in their favor now. And I think it's 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 about wrapped up for the Russians. They just need to hold their position and uh, and just hold them off. And where do you think they fell short? Total. Where do you think uh, they could have? Where do you think they missed their opportunities? I think they could have and should have maybe pushed from the north. Uh, and if they were to push from the north, maybe more squads up there. However, it would have been pretty saturated, so maybe flanking from the uh, from the south, moving west, maybe to uh, industrial park, could have helped. Ooh, an industrial um, park push would have been really good, I think. Yeah, because I didn't see originally. I think uh, Lon put some defenses on the, over there, but then he quickly realized that they weren't even going to be flanking from that area, Liberal, so that he pulled them back. World War so I think maybe pushing again. Silas down. A so. lot of fighting for not much ground. Yeah, I would agree. Red team doing a great job defending. Knowing when to pick their battles. Yeah. Very very fluid defense from, from Londo. It's a lot of pushing, falling back, pushing, falling back, holding, falling back. Specifically from Red 3 on the south. I really enjoyed Vindication's movement uh, with his squad. I think he was pretty crucial for the Russian defense. Maybe just enable medic revives, period, but limit the number per medic. It'd be easier to count anyway. I think they'd have server tools rules for this stuff, though. Not a bad idea. The way we're doing it in... Um, Postscriptum is we're limiting the amount of medics. So instead of the, the the default for squad is oh as two go down, see there's an eye money just mowed down by automatic riflemen. That's a blow, and uh, possibly a flank from Alpha Guido and Razor as that is GG. They were the last two left as they slowly got picked apart from the Russians. Final tally: 16 kills for the British, 33 for the Russians. That turns south in an instant. Good, good push or good pushes from the British. They just didn't take advantage of the opportunities they had. Um, while the Russians, constantly on the move, held their position very well. And vindication looks like getting set up, getting guys spawned in, good to go. I'm not sure when live is. Listening on Laundarts and his brief. Four, one, ready to push to the west. Ooh, so we're gonna get to hear Londarch's uh, uh, thought process on this. Negative, not at this point. And um, Clayjay, you'll be heading with uh, Saloon onto Juliet four two. All right, so we clear. Fu, you're gonna be moving yep. now with your squad out the northwest. You're gonna be clearing out Juliet four two. Update your squads, guys. Uh, apologies for not being able to do a command brief again. Ron, I just want to update. You said Lima. You said Lima Vin six. 
Lima four one for you, Vindy. Head east oh, until you get to right. head east until you get to Lima six. Then sort of depending on the train, head north. Do it as quick as you can. Got it. But you know what? Right. Cool. Take a transport, Vindy. Go go far east. Okay. Copy, Commander. Move my squad. All right, Roger. You want us heading out now? Are we ready to go? Uh, yeah. Get uh, get you guys in uh, maybe a stagnant column. Uh, one squad either side of the road. Oh, looking at this, we've been live for about a two. I'm, I'm reading through the I'm reading through the doc while he was giving the brief. I was making sure to read through the doc. Out to the northwest. Two thousand hours, two point seven four months. Interesting. Well, I guess that's good. I feel better about myself. I listen to books more than I play games. I've, I just, well, I guess it took, it took me six years to listen to 13 months of books. I guess that's not bad. So, excuse me, got an off track. Reading through the special information that, that we are, are given for the, these docs. This is information that the event admin would be reading. There's a special live time. The British forces, once they reach their start location and place down and get everybody out, boom, live, Just immediately live. So Russians have had a few minutes to start completing their objective too, probably not as ready, to, I mean, at the same level of readiness as the British, um, but still, that that little extra just like kick that, hey, we're live, you, you've got no time to think about this, has got to be, uh, you know. Picking at Londarts' brain as we are moving out. Looks like we've got blue two, blue four, blue one moving north northwest with blue three in a transport moving east. Understood. You want an uh, AR command? You want an AR command? Just want to make them know we're here. Uh, they're out out west. If you can get you guys online to the west, get your FTLs looking out to the west. Londarts already spotting contact. Hotel six seven. Look, Darts is completely unaware there are BTRs up against him. 100%. He has no idea they have any kind of vehicles. Command DGB, uh, you said Hotel 676, correct? That's correct. That's approximately what you should see. Sandbags going up and I'm fighting over their building. Oh, that's open fire on them. They're about 600 meters on my binos. Oh, what a nice surprise. Right, Swede? Right? Oh, that's where he's shooting at. There he goes. Really accurate fire down onto this platoon or squad as they get to try to get set up. This fire, though, means these BTRs can now divert from their patrol to reinforce any position they see fit. So maybe playing their hand a little bit early, but not allowing them to get built up can be just as crucial. I love, love the sound of the, the British rifles. It's similar, to, it, it sounds very similar to the uh, Americans, which is probably left, left, why left, I like left, it so left. much. Good, powerful combo, left, Matt, left, Bob, left. and Accardi. Binoculars and an automatic rifleman. Good height, shift left, shift left, shift left. Four is approaching. Right. Point. Right in that area, spray it, spray it, spray it. Tracing oh, works fire. both ways. Cardi's gonna have to reposition here soon. There goes. Right out, guys. Right out. So as blue two is laying down a base of fire onto red three, blue one, blue four continue to move northwest with blue three far, far north going west as well. Squad four, I want you pushing north, northwest on the river's edge. I want you getting to a location to cross the river. Approximately India 221. Roger that, India 221. Yep, yep. Perfect. Oh, 
Ooh, look, reloading. another another Shot spot for uh, Luffy Booger to get some fire Shot down onto. Shu is in a really good spot to be laying down some fire onto several positions of blow, both blue, or shooting, red three and red down. four. I'm gonna engage more. Oh fuck. Heads up. Oh, Alright, so blue two is laying down a base fire to the west, firing onto red three and red four. Blue one, four, and three crossing the river, being very proactive with their crossing, much much quicker in their crossing than uh, Dwarf managed to last round. Um is moving. So far that seems to be all that's happened. No kills have across the board. A lot of fire going down as same with same with last round. Well, that's going on. Just going to be uh, keeping the enemy entertained. Enemy infantry on it. Hotel four six. On top of the rock formation. The two is being a good guy. Copy that. Open up on them. One two. Let's see if we can get that in a crosswalk. A blue team. Two the Brits have gone down. Really? Which squad were they in? Who looks like Luby Booger? Squad two, maybe? Oh, yeah, that might be squad two. They are they're getting some fire down onto that base of fire. They're the red team is laying down some pretty significant fire onto that base of fire, being blue two. But I think that means they have no idea blue one, three, and four are so far to their north. Command, this is not a suitable location for cover. I see that. Uh, Red 5, it looks like they've, uh, taken two BTRs. Yeah. Oh, you, you missed the, uh, the brief. The British, the Russians do have two BTRs to utilize. Um, as they see fit, they were supposed to be doing some patrol, but as soon as they came into contact, they were allowed to abandon said patrol to reinforce where necessary. And Blue were very proactive in their engagement. As soon as they got online, they started firing. Maybe maybe allows those BTRs to have free reign much sooner than anticipated. Command, we will get heavily engaged on this promontory. I'm gonna push the fire team up. They're gonna get fucked up. You don't have to. You don't have to get close enough to be accurate. Just close enough to put bullets over the head to whatever is happening. Understood. Warlord, this is Viper. Do you copy? Yeah, and those uh, what did the Russians get again? Two. Two BTRs and then the, that standard loadout of uh, two lats to uh, one hat. Wait, where'd you get hit from? Right, so the British, the uh, Man, we're taking accurate BTR fire and emplacement fire for north -west. Their hat may come in handy. Yeah, that British hat is definitely gonna come in handy. We'll see. Where is it allocated? Let me see if I can figure that out. Alpha Guido has it. Blue 2 has it. And he's close, maybe. Alpha Guido's a good shot. Let's we'll see if he can land it. It looks like Bartok has something. Another RPG, maybe. Blue three and one are across the river. Blue four is just now commencing their commencing their crossing. Not as great of a spot to cross. They might get spotted, but they're going to make it across no casualties, I'd say. Now, it looks like there may have been a uh, a mix-up in the kits. So I'm pretty sure there's only supposed to be one hat. And Bartok and uh, Guido have the same kit. Maybe. That's not good. We shall see. I called out the flank over the river to the north. Heyward, you're Blackbeard, aren't you? Right? You got my head blown off? Heyward, you can correct me. I think you're Blackbeard. I'm trying to remember your name. Um, the early fire's attraction, though, allows the British to move north and attack southward, right? That, I think the, the early fire is working out for them, sweet. It allows a majority of the platoon. See, Lawnarts has, has a three squads across that river now, which eliminates that obstacle that is the river. And I think it's gonna pay out for them. Oh, platoon is flanked. So yep, yep. 
Which map do you prefer to play in Squad Turkish Empire? My favorite map would probably be Korra, not Kohat River Valley. Um, it's just such an, a, a, a wide map. I like fighting on the mountains, and that it's a good engagement range for, for what I like. What about you, Total? What's your favorite map to play? Is, uh, wait, it's favorite map to play. So, uh, what, what's Crazy Horse on? Do you know? Uh, no. It's something River Valley. I, it's not Kohat. Not Korra. To be Operation. honest with you, I never remember the name. I just, uh, I just remember Operation I'm a visual Rolling. learner. Uh, so, fair enough, fair enough. If I see it, I'll know it. But yeah, this is. I think we played. Uh, I can't even remember how many ops we played on this map alone, just on different areas of the map. Yeah. Um, especially all, like on the far east side, where all the forest is, it's a great spot for an op. It's not Sumari, Mister Yuzu. We have no security on our north side, so I'm hoping to call out as meant Phoenix put two and two together. Maybe Phoenix is squad four. He doesn't have many guys looking north, but on that same note, Jacko 800, uh, Greybu, and uh, his Vindication are starting to lay fire down here, maybe blowing their cover here on the north. I don't get shot. Your name is cursed. You got shot. You're a lie. I don't know what to believe in. What do you think about these guys opening fire so so early here on the north? More to the right. He's moving to the right. He's moving to the right. They're actively being guided, not good, guided good, in. Good. Revving uh, Greybu here. Hey, by the rock. By the there rock. 207. Like, rock right, he's he's moving right as well. Shot him off. He's moved, he's backed off. I'm in the same boat as you, Swede. They gave it away. They were 100. And perfect situation winners. We all... I, I have to preach it. Like, we know literally 100% of what is going on. Like we we have we have better zoom than the than the binoculars. We have outlines. We have perfect situational awareness. Well, as perfect as can be. But still, I feel like they blew a flank. They had to have known they weren't spotted yet. See though, it may now be this base of fire of two may now be switching. As they switch from two to the base fire being four, while one and three Copy. continue to move. I, heard it I see mortars. I see mortars. What is this? Am I missing something in the debris? I don't see any mortars. Blue two is manning mortars on the south. Huh. Wait, I'm, I'm uh, reading the op doc. I've seen that in the yeah. Oh, it is in the op doc. Uh, we we <laughs> missed it. Sorry, folks. Yep. Attackers have mortars, and I just heard them fire. Let's see. If, let's see where they land. Yep, four mortars. There are a lot of four mortars. Four, four times. Four, four times, mortar. times yep. mortars. That is insane. I love it. Fucking <laughs> expert going crazy with this one. Let's see what happens. Green and Chameleon laying down fire to this northern element. They now know this is here, and now they've got a BTR covering this northern flank. Oof. I'm, I'm looking for mortar landing, so that's what I'm looking for. Kills. Two to one. British in the lead by one. Roger. Relay to your guys to send two smoke. That hotel. Pony mortar. Mr. We can get X Men can get crazy, but he's not gonna get pony crazy with those mortars. They're not a uh, what? Are, what is 170 millimeter mortars? It's not gonna be that crazy. He's just gonna give him more. How uh, can I join the game? Um, you you say San? If you want to participate in these events, and anybody who wants to participate in, in these events, check us out squadops.gg. Again, squadops.gg. All you have to do is sign up on that website, take our basic training course, only about 45 minutes to an hour long, and then you can participate in any and all of the Squad Ops events you'd like. We host them on Wednesdays, twice on Saturdays. On Fridays, we have post events that fluctuate between Friday and Sunday. 
all on the website squadops.gg highly encourage it because without you guys we wouldn't be able to put on these events without you guys interested we couldn't do it as long as they kill and not tickle i mean mr Z, it's it's foo on the mortars well it's foo guiding in the mortars they've got all four of them down alpha guido Acardi, nas nate and mad bob Lonarts is going to take advantage of this he's got he's, he's man these mortars he's got smokes down accurately spread it out from there Ooh, this will be money this will be money if they switch to he gonna fire more fire more man you you had it guided in you know I love blue team's uh, flanking maneuvers. Yeah, Lawn Darts is on top of the flank as I, I haven't been paying attention to it. They are already into industrial moving south. He's going to have such a nasty flank going on. Without anyone seeing them either. Uh, You're right? BTR has no idea. Milkshake and Bob. Let me see if they see anything. No, they have no eyes. Yeah, only people who who would would have eyes would be milkshake and Bob here, and they don't. No window that looks in this direction. This is a perfect flank by them. They just can't blow it. The thing is, four already blew their flank. Looks like they're gonna now be that base of fire. It, it's that trigger discipline for one and three now. I think is the, is the idea. One and three have to maintain trigger discipline to to keep that flank going on. I want to go see where these mortars land. They do. They're on top of it. If these were HE mortars, these guys would be dead. But they they seem content to block off line of sight, and I love it. People don't use the smoke mortars enough. Smoke mortars are important, folks. They block off line of sight. They allow you to maneuver without being spotted. And they have a bigger billow than, than HE. Smokes already dissipated. I love it. I love smokes. I think more people should use them. This game doesn't require some crazy stats to play. This is a pretty CPU intensive game, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I, I I run it fine. I don't think I have a low end computer though. My I have a 1070 and i5 6600. But I've total. Do you know the the minimum stats you need? Um, I do not. Personally, I have a 1080 i7. Oh, you're. Um, yeah, no. You you yeah you you so have no problems good. running this game, <laughs> yeah. um, but I've I've heard of people running it with the 1060. I'm not sure about the 970. I have heard of people running it with the 1060 and maybe even the 1050. There's a 1050, right? I'm not lying, right? I'm fairly certain there's a 1050. Um, maybe Bob Saget sees him, sees yeah, these guys. His audio, yep, they see him. They see him, so Bob Saget does see him. Okay, so Bob Saget did spot this. Good spot by him. We'll see if any, anybody diverts. We're, we're looking at this uh, BTR with Chameleon and Green Text to divert into the direction. Probably not many infantry, though. See what happens. Oh, wow. Um, so somehow Bob... To the west of the compound, Dorf says there's three squads north. north. It's a good call. I don't know how they... Well, he, he knows there's the one squad... I, I'm thinking it's he's, he knows blue four is there because they fired early. BTR looks like it sees blue one, and then Bob Saget saw blue three. Yeah, they're just putting it together now. Yeah, Dorf is really good at that. Dorf Dorf has really good situational awareness. He's for, for the to command for those of you who haven't commanded, you probably um you you you're constantly building that picture in your head of just gathering the information that these squad leads are thrown at you, and you're using it to to form a picture of like where squads are in general and dwarf is top top of the line when it comes to making that mental picture and knowing and keeping track of these people my laptop is a 960 laptop here the one in the joints just saw the game this game trick um mr Yuji just said he has a 960 and mr Yuji has been playing for a while should be good and they're constantly optimizing the game so it's if you can't play it now it's not to say you can't play it later Dark milkshake sees them. Is he gonna allow these to pass? Shoot. Yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah. I'm on. I'm on dark milkshake now. It was a mistake now. for Jack and his guys not to clear out these buildings. 
right? Just a frag out of this window right now, right, Scruffy? He doesn't know how many are there. He saw he saw Jack run across. So I don't think he realizes UJ Key and Salt Crits are right below him. Dark Milkshake keeps telling Bob, do not move. <laughs> that's how that's the easiest way to get spotted is to move. Still waiting on smoke. Command, this is squad two. It's to our squad two itself now. So, Command, we're ready to send we're gonna I think Bob Saget, Dark Milk Jake, great trigger discipline here. Both very, these are these are some experienced guys. I recognize at least, I, I recognize Dark Milk Jake. Whoa. Frag out. Oh, took out the BTR. Oh, wow. What a great who, shot from Bartok. Who Bartow. shot that? Was that Bartok? Oh, yeah. of course that was Bartok. I believe so. That's the only uh, RPG I see. Nice shot onto this BTR. It doesn't go down this easily in a vanilla game, but with our mod, we have tweaked the health on these just to make it more a little more even for these, these guys on the field, on the ground. Great, great shot by Bartok. Taking out Jax, guys. I saw it. I was over. I was looking at Dark Milkshake and Bob. I didn't even realize Bob Sag or Bartok Warrior was there. Bartok Warrior does go down. Yep, to Bob Sag and Dark Milkshake. Clean it up. But is it. That's a worthy trade. For Bartok Warrior, three down for a BTR. I'll take that any day of the week. They need to take it. Blue needs to take advantage of this, though. Bob Saget does go down. Dark Milkshake, last one standing. I don't know who took down Bob Saget. Most likely Vindication. Maybe, uh, Jack. Yeah, maybe. He said Blue needs to, needs to take advantage. I think, uh... Ooh. Dark oh, Milkshake yeah. takes out Vindication. That's the squad lead down. What a sneaky spot from Vindication. Or not uh, Vindication. Uh, Dark Milkshake here. Let's go check out what's going on across the map. As smokes are going down... Blocking off lines of sight. I'm hoping they move under this. Smokes are great. I love smokes. I think you should use smokes, but you have to do something with the smokes. You can't just let them do nothing. You have to move underneath them if you're going to move. Bartok is the most amazing AT ever to walk the earth. Bartok is so consistent. I agree. Bartok is definitely a standout when it comes to, uh, to his AT use. He deserves a lot of credit for his consistency. No, you're you're not wrong. Probably just me. Uh, once we get in the truck, what do you want us to go? I'll advise them if I make it to you. So, update on the tactical situation. Blue two is going to maintain uh, those mortars. Looks like they're running low. Let's take a look. They've got about fifteen hundred ammo left. With four mortars, that'll be gone in a couple seconds. Um, blue four will be mounting up in Londarts' Lodgy, while blue one reinforces blue three on the south northwest. Pretty good movement by Londarts, I'd say. Kills are roughly the same. Five, oh, what's up, Dink? I did not realize that was you. I don't know your guys's. Which names? I'm learning uh, Blackbeards, but it's no. Dark Milkshake is doing a lot of work, just continually to pick, continuing to pick apart Blue Three here. Three. How many do you think are in plus right now? Three, is three effective. Project Great Eli. mortars on Phoenix. You guys are the creators. We are not the creators of the game USA, no and we just run. Our events using the game squad. OWI Off World Industries are the creators of this uh, amazing game. And we have no input on what they do with the game. We just take what they do and run with it. As well as they have a great modding system. We do a lot of modding to make it what we need. But we have no say or, or, or call on what the actual uh, vanilla game, how the vanilla game turns out.
got to change my Twitch name. Good to hear y'all's voices. Currently traveling and watching on my phone. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Dedication. <laughs> oh. Can't stay away. I believe it. I would definitely watch on my phone. If I definitely watch on my phone when I do Misty events. Evan has finally called it out that they are going past Industrial Park. Looks like Red 4 is moving up. So, oh, we're looking at this, there is some movement. Red 1 is moving north, Red 3 is diverting to some guys north. Red 4 is... looks like they're holding position, looks like. I think Red 1 is going to be the guys who take control over Flats area where Red, uh, Blue 3 is. Update on kills. It's been a minute. Six kills for the British, six kills for the Russian. It may have been a minute, but uh, there's not been a lot of kills to happen. I like the game. It's impressive. I agree with you. This is a very, very nice game. Um, I've been playing since B7. And the, the updates they've done and the updates they're continuing to do just continue to impress me. And it's definitely what keeps me coming back. That they've, they've, they're continuing to update and, and create such a great game. And then what they don't create, our mod team just takes care of for us. So, always good. So squad one is calling, or excuse me, blue two is calling out this BTR of Seer Chess and Seethers. That's going to be confusing. They're both S names for me. Um, Seer Chess and Seethers pulling up with their BTR to the east of blue one. So they are tracking this BTR. Is it hit? Mike, are you seeing this? Is this BTR hit? It looks like it was. Yeah. Hopefully they can keep this BTR alive. This is very, very... Crucial for them to, to to maintain. Yeah, for sure. Squad one, we're in the air. A bit late, but that AT shot was epic, right? Bartok Warrior, right there for you. Knows what he's doing. BTR pulls up and is starting to lay waste to Squad One. Actually, no. It looked like it, maybe. Oh, maybe it was like through the building through the building. It's hard. It's hard for me even to see through the smoke Yeah, yeah It's shooting through for sure. Look it's shaking my screen crazy Like how the SL leads the infantry fighting vehicle and gives it a good spot. Yeah, you saw Evan SMA there saying you you, you almost guaranteed he's saying Right here on me, come here right now to my spot. Evan SMA is very blunt when he's when he's telling you where he needs to go. I didn't even realize this. Look how close Zeke is to this BTR. No way to take out the BTR. But look how close he is. He's crawling up to it. What are you doing, Zeke? What do you what is your plan? What is going through your head? Oh, he's, he's got his own theme music. Why did he even go up there? I don't know, he's singing, he's singing something. Oh, oh they see him. BTR sees him. He's talking he's sing local. <laughs> he's, he sees him, but he, <laughs> they're trying to run over him. They're, they're gonna back up. Zeke's probably gonna die. Gonna, he's not gonna have the, de the, the depression. That BTR turret oh, is wow. a terrible depression. He's not gonna they have can't it. can't do anything. He can't. <laughs> They're, they're so frustrated. <laughs> I wish you could hear their comms right now. That is amazing. They know he's... Th oh, they, maybe? Oh, oh. No, not low enough. Zeke does get a little splash. He's tossing he's smokes. Grenade. No, he's tossing smokes. Uh, smoke. Uh, Zeke, uh, no, it was, yeah. it was a frag. You're right. But Zeke does go down eventually. 
I would have tossed a smoke personally. Yeah. Toss a smoke. Just to annoy them that much more. Your position, you can't sit here for at least <laughs> 30 seconds. And, yep, yeah, Zeke is down. Seethers and Seer Chest keeping their BTR alive. Let's take a look at the rest of Blue's movement. As, uh, Blue does push up to take care, uh, take up position in the flats. Um, basically taking over where Squad 3 was. Blue 4 is, and what its remainder is, is on the north. And Blue 2 on the east. Blue Squad from the southwest, though. Blue 5 taking a, over Blue 4. Maybe? Maybe? Maybe. Where are they? I lost them. There they are. Blue one has two lat, so they could do damage to uh, that red BTR. Yeah, I. Hmm. Who do you think's got the better chance? Back is to them. I'm gonna go over to them. Who do you think has the better chance of actually completing their objective, though? Is it, I this this flank with blue four and command blue five looks great, honestly. On map, it looks great. Obviously, their terrain may beg to differ when I move, actually go over there and take a look at it. It looked like they were moving through a field when I flew over there. Yeah, confirmed Russians on the, uh, south yeah blue the 4 and 5 can get to that building just below red 3. I think they'll have a chance, but right now, I don't think they see them. So they might get ambushed. I like how uh, um, next SOTT in 14 hours, I'm probably, it's all on the website, okay. and your okay. local time, so. Whatever your computer is set to is what the time will say to keep it as simple as possible. It looks like Dark Milkshake had taken out some people who pushed up to his building. I need to check there. Are there some bodies here that I'm not missing? BTR takes out Frost. No, Frost is... The Dark Milkshake is okay. Yeah, I don't think one is going to be able to do anything from here. Yeah, four, blue four and five taking fire from red, red one. Red three is pushing them. Oh, too. BTR gets shot. Good shot. Down. BTR is down. Who took that shot? I gotta see. It looks like it was Sugarheart. BTR is down south of Flats. Nice shot, Clip. No, Strider. Strider's the BTR. Yeah. Or excuse me, the the lat. Uh, tri Triax kill as well. He's with the uh, Rain Man. Great shots, guys. BTR is down. Let's see if that swings it in favor of anybody. As uh, kills are 10 to 11. British 10, Russians 11. Still anybody's game, and especially with those assets, the, the BTR assets, down. Yeah, that's a big game changer. Right. I think they use those BTRs a little um, aggressively. Maybe they could have put the uh, BTRs a little further out. On the outskirts. Yeah. And uh, stop them from pushing. I, I, that is what, definitely what an argument. They, yeah, what happens when they're, in, they're inside the, the defenses is that uh, they're prone to 360 shots, which oh. we just saw. Oh, so what you're seeing is have the BTRs out on like extreme flanks, wait for the commitment, and then push in for the counter? Yeah, so like, you see like the hill and uh, just south of industrial? Yeah. And, uh, Fox 337. This is the hill he's Having talking about right here. There, yeah. And that, that would have stopped the industrial park push completely. I, you know, that's, that is great. Like, this hill is great. I, I you cannot ar argue this hill. The thing is, it, it, it's, the argument really is, do you keep the BTR this far back and allow them to cross un, uninterrupted from the BTR? Or do you, or be aggressive as Dorf was to try and prevent them from crossing, period. Both can be arguments. In this case, your your point is is, is better, I think. Having this BTR this far back to, to lock off entire entire flanks would be better than yeah, and again, keeping that's them from our like, They have no idea. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, we again, we, I gotta stress this every time, we have that perfect information. We know exactly where everybody is. These guys are working with their their gut instincts, their the, what they see with their eyes, and what they can interpret from the information that their squad is giving them. Dark Milkshake is not pushing out of this building. I'm surprised he's still alive. Right? <laughs> like, you gotta clear these buildings out. Is there a delay? In, there's no delay in the stream, wrong, wrong dooter. 
I mean, if there is a delay, it's probably like 30 seconds or so just from what it takes Restream to, to send it back out. Hope you get more stuff. This is awesome. Thanks, uh, Yusun. Hey, we, we appreciate it. Really appreciate it. As long as you guys enjoy watching, I will enjoy streaming. And as I get more commentators, hopefully they will enjoy streaming as much. Copy H441. Blood 4, there's still enemies engaging us from your east. We're trying to spread. How do you guys know players aren't using the stream during game? Um, we have event admins flying around making sure nobody's breaking the rules. Uh, realistically though, if you're if you're stream sniping, you will not make that. Uh, you will not make a difference at all because the the real choices are coming from your squad leads or from your command, from your platoon lead down to your squad leads down to the individual member. So they really don't make that big of a difference. Um, and we know none of our commands or our squad leads are stream sniping because that is they're, they're our regulars. They are they are our staff. We trust them as running the community. Milk must have been ordered hard to hold that. I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> and and if we do catch you stream sniping, which we do, we we have caught people stream sniping before. We just ban you from the community and. Nobody wants to risk not being able to play in this because it's it's in the end it's not about winning or losing. You can have an amazing time if you lose, as long as you get that experience, that experience of the one life event, that 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 adrenaline rush, that 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 that, that rush that comes from you know having it such an amazing squad. You you just really can't get that in the vanilla game, in my opinion, and uh, that's what really people are here for. It's just just that experience of the one life event. Yeah, I would agree. I don't know how Big Rago ended up on this flank in between Blue 1 and uh, Red 2. He's here, and he's trying to... to it looks like he's trying to rehook up with uh, Blue 1. Yeah, they've been uh, trading a lot uh, in the south. It looked like Blue... The Blue team is going to be pushing them pretty hard, but Red team is uh, giving up. They're just not giving up at all. Yeah, um, I just flew back over to that south side. Saloon is the only man remaining out of the three guys I can see in his immediate area who have gone down. Update on kills, 16 for the British, 24 for the Russians as they spread that gap. I think the tables have turned since that uh, the southern flank is kind of falling apart. It looks like it. Lon dead, Mr. Uzi. I believe Lon is dead. Let's take a look. Yep, Lon went down. He was in the north, I believe. He was with this. He was with a trans truck somewhere, and uh, yeah, he went down. We missed it, unfortunately. But Lon is down. It's something I definitely should have recognized earlier. I think Clay may have been the sick. I see. I'm not sure. Four. Tell Big Rago to push directly west towards Squad One. This guy's on the hill between us and him. Oh, Fu was his second I see. Oh, is Fu down too? I, I, I think he's down. Yeah, Razor was in charge of his squad. Or Razor yeah, is now wow. in charge of his squad. Oh, <laughs> Saloon goes down, gets domed. This this south squad, this south push is all but dealt with as Razor and Nova, only two remaining. One of them being severely hurt. Two, two Yep. Went away for three a short seven. minute before. What happened three to the three UK squads in the north? Priority. They have just been getting right torn apart. One by Dark Milkshake and Friends. Razor goes down. And Nova goes down. All from Kuva and Lima Bean. Southern flank completely dealt with. But this northern squad was just picked apart. One by Dark Milkshake and Friends. Single friend, I forget his name. Um, In this this house here, they took out a full squad on their their own, I believe. BTR also laid waste to some guys before being taken out, and what you see is what you got. We got about one, two, Warlord actual command four guys left, left, as these guys are just completely spotted. wrecked. Play J uh, Strider, the, only two remaining. I think the saying the best offense or this best defense 
is a good offense. Um, Red team pushed very hard in the south. They could have fallen back, but they decided to be aggressive and take that southern flank out, which they did very well. The guys, in the, north, the guys in the north are uh, doing pretty well as well. On the flank, on the eastern flank of blue one. Yeah, blue red two here did a really good job just picking away at these guys before they pushed up. Without the BTRs. For a uh, majority of this right? second yeah. half of the Losing the those round. assets is usually devastating for it's the huge. team that losing yeah. it. But they may do with it on... They could have... They, they 100... You, you said it. They could have 100% used those BTRs better. But they may do without having them. Exactly. Just curious, how I run a postscriptum unit with around 30 active skilled players, how could I plan an event against you guys? Um, I'm not... That would be something on Londarch's territory. Um, hop in our Discord, uh, check out squadops.gg. The Discord is linked on that website. And get in contact with Londarts. I'm not sure on what exactly you want, but uh, he is our, our representation manager, and he would be able to get in touch with him. Any kind of information like that. Clay J, last man standing. 17 kills for the British, 31 for the Russians. That it turned in a blink, just like last round. As uh, Clay J's last man standing, I don't know what he's going to be able to do to complete his objective. Damn, I was so sure the three would make a push that would win the day. I sweet that push in the north was great, but I felt they blue four blew their lead by firing too early when they were over here. Blue four blew their lead, so they had to stop and fire. Blue 1 and 2 got really close, but then Blue 3 got cut apart in, in, in the flats area. Blue 1 reinforced, and then they started getting cut apart too. It was just disjointed. It, it wasn't as, as compact or as continuous as I felt it should have been. And I think the woods played a big part in it as well. Because every time I look at a red 4... Oh, yep. Clay J goes down. It goes uh, down to Hawk, I'd say. Yeah, Maybe yep. I'm on his. Yeah, but this wooded area really uh, helped red, the yeah, red team. This was a tough spot for the blue team, for the British team to push. Great job, though. They got really close. They just couldn't complete their objective. It's very tough to be the out attackers. Great job for the Russians. Even without those BTR advantage, they managed to hold and keep out the British attackers.